morning, beautiful people. Happy Friday. We made it to the end of the work week. Maybe some of you don't work. Kudos to you, but we made it to the end of the week. I hope you had an awesome week. I hope you had a purposeful week. So here we are, day 16 of our word fast. Oh my goodness, this one is going to be heavy today. Bear with me. I'm going to try to get through it quickly. Here is our word for today. Are you ready? That's right. The word for today is self-doubt. Now, before you say that's not you, let me walk you down this path. If you are watching this video, I don't care when you're watching it or where you're watching it, at some point in your life, if not right at this very moment, you have experienced self-doubt. You have experienced the feeling of not being enough. You've allowed this thing of self-doubt to keep you from pursuing your dreams. You've allowed it to cause you to be stuck in places too long. You've allowed it to literally drain you. You've allowed it to cause you to live a lie. And I'll get to that in a second. But that's what self-doubt does. It keeps us from pursuing our dreams. It keeps us from pursuing our goals. It keeps us stuck in this dark place um, with seemingly no way out. Because we constantly look at what could go wrong versus what could go right. The other thing that self-doubt does, as I said before, it causes us to live a lie. What do I mean by that? It causes us to pretend to be something that we're not because we're afraid that people won't accept us or people won't embrace our truth. And so we go through life people pleasing or trying to please other people because we're not confident in who we are. And so we, we end up, um, uh, what's the word I want to use? I don't know what the word I want to use, but we live a lie. We live a lie instead of walking in our truth. Uh, we spend all of our time coveting or envying what other people have. I always say we look over in their yard and how green their grass is only to find out later that it's fake. And we could have just, just, just as well enjoyed the grass in our own yard. But self-doubt will cause us to think that what I have, who I am, is not good enough. I read a quote this morning and it said this. It said, self-doubt will make you believe that the risk of doing something different is greater than the risk of staying the same. Did you hear that? Self-doubt will make you believe that it is better to stay the same than to do something different. And that, my friends, is a lie. You are good enough. You are equipped enough. You are qualified. You are pretty enough. You are handsome enough. You have everything you need to be great because God created you wonderful. There is a scripture, and I want to read it in the Bible. It says in Psalm 139 and 14, it says, I will give thanks and praise to God, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works, and my soul knows it very well. Did you hear that? Your soul knows that God made you not only wonderful, but fearful, which means you shouldn't be afraid of it. It should be afraid of you. You and I are our own worst enemies. And at some point, we have to stop being the source of our own misery. It's not other people. It's me. It's what I think about myself, what I feel about myself, and what I know about myself. So I want you to think about that word self-doubt. How has that word kept you from living your best life? Have an amazing Friday and we will chat tomorrow.